بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد. The religious attack are being passed. The means for this attack. Question: What are the means which the West uses in order to spread their ideas and thoughts? Answer: The means that West employs in order to spread their thoughts and ideas are many. They include: One, they attempt to conquer the minds of the Muslim children. They do this by infusing in them Western values and concepts, so that they believe that the best way to adopt in any matter is that of the West, whether it is with regards to what religion or sect they believe, or with regards to the languages they speak, or the manners, customs, and values which they they adorn themselves. Two, custody of the, custody of a large group of the children of the Muslims. Uh, in every country concerned for them and bringing them up such that when they have absorbed western thoughts they return to their countries with a, ha a halo of praise and respect they then acquire po a position and authority in their countries by which they begin to calculate these western ideologies establishing learning centers that conform to western uh, curricula or are at least directly influenced by them three the active drive towards promoting the learning of western languages in the muslim lands making them compete with the muslims language especially the arabic language which is the language of the quran in which this book was sent and by which the Muslim, Muslims worship their Lord in their prayer, their, their rights, or, or their rights, their rights of pilgrimage, their forms of remembrances and glorifications, etc. From this, the, from this is the encouragement of the destructive propaganda that fights against the use, use, usage and learning of the Arabic language and attempts to weaken the conformity to it, to, to it in the Muslim lands. They do this by calling to using colloquialism and by arranging numerous uh, studies that intend to develop a uh, grammar in order to corrupt all it, all it as well as form, for formalizing folk literature and matters of national heritage. Four. Development on Western, Western development of Western universities and uh, missionary schools in Muslim countries, and also initiating the role of kindergarten and and, and, and play schools, hospitals, and clinics which serve as dens and nests for their evil aims. They encourage the higher classes to study in them, after which they help them to acquire post of leadership and high position until they become an aid for their teachers in following their plots and plan in the Muslim lands. Five, they attempt to control the education cur uh, uh, curricula in the Muslim land and and drawing out their politics, either directly as occurred in some Muslim countries when the priest Dunlop the, the, the undertook that, that, that task there or by indirect methods. When the task was undertaken, most of the successful students who studied in, uh, in Dunlop's schools and graduated from them arose as a destructive uh, pickaxe, uh, pickaxe in their country or one of the enemy's most lethal weapons. Such, uh, such students strive, uh, strive hard to influence the educational curriculum and steer it towards secularism, an analogy which does not center around having faith in man, in Allah and his messenger, but rather steers towards atheism or, or towards immorality and corruption. Six, the large number of individuals among the Jews and Christians who have undertaken the study of Islam, Arabic language, compiling books and uh, compiling books, uh, compiling books, and taking position of teaching in universities until they created an, an, an ideological turmoil and confusion among the educated Muslims, which they hurl at those they are teaching, or with 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 with, with, with which they fill their books. This happened to such an extent that some of the books uh, become a source works, uh, which later and successors are referred to in, ma in matter of ideology or history. Many people who are responsible for creating some of these ideological tamils in the Muslim countries were actually Muslim who graduated and at the hands of such people. The prayers and air in which surrounded such graduates helped them to achieve this as well as achieve their post and position, such as important posts in teaching and leadership. So they completed what their teachers had initiated of corruption corruption and fulfilled what they are what they the teachers could not achieve because these students were offsprings of offsprings of Muslims from the same skin ascribing themselves to them and speaking in their language and Allah's help Sought. Seven, a number, a large number of missionary workers calling to Christianity have gone forward amongst the Muslims performing their work upon them. Such missionary activities are based upon well studied principles and upon a large scale, employing hundreds of thousands of thousands of men and women. Huge financial budgets are set aside for their tasks, for this task, and they are added in such a way that their task is made easier and obstacles and obstacles are removed for them. You renew it for Allah before him, Allah Nurihi Wal Kafirun, and they want to extinguish the light of the of the religion of uh, Allah with their mouth, but Allah will bring his light to perfection and completion even though the disbelievers hate it. 
is as the, the efforts of the missionaries are set up and aimed mostly at the common levels. Then the efforts of the Orientalists are directed at the, the educated, as I previously mentioned. The missionaries take an own huge hardships in their work in the African countries and in the remote villages of the five extreme Muslim lands in Eastern Asia. After that, every, uh, every so often, they hold conferences in order to review the, their accounts and their plans. Then they analyze, adjust, and, uh, and implement. They meet in Cairo in 1906, in uh, Edinburgh in, 19, in 1920, in 1910, or I don't know. Uh, you in in Luk in Lukunho, India in 1911 and uh, in uh, in Jerusalem in 1935 and they combined to hold such assemblies seminars and conferences to, to glorify to Allah the one in whose hand is the soul the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth and to him return all affairs eight spreading corruption in the Muslim societies belittling the status of women as regards their role in life making her transgress the limit that Allah has set for her causing her to be satisfaction without abstaining from the correct correct path they do this uh, by spreading propaganda among the Muslims in various ways and manners so that that women are encouraged to freely free, to freely mix with the men and so that women are encouraged to work uh, in the place of men by this they aim to corrupt the muslim society and to put an end to the austerity and purity which is found therein additionally they bring up imaginary issues and false propaganda claim that islam oppresses women and that muslim women have the very little rights they want to take her out of her home and put her where, where, wherever they want to they, they may want even though the limits so that allah has said are clear as are, are, are his commands concerning these matters and as in the Sunnah of His Messenger Allah the Messiah said, "Ayyuladhi ayyu Nabiyyu kulli azwajik wa banatik wa nisa'i al-mu'minin bi dunya lahi min jalabihin wa ladalik adnan yurafna falayudain wa yakana Allahu ala ghafur al-rahim wa wa prophet tell your wives and your daughters and the believers women throw their own government over their entire body that will be better that they should be known as not to be harassed and Allah is oft forgiving most merciful Allah the Exalted said wa ladribin nabi khuburihin la jubihin wa la yubdina zinatahunna illa li bulatihin wa ba'i wa ba'i hin wa ba'i bulatihin wa ba'i and let the believing women draw their head cover uh, scarves over their chest and not to display their beauty except to their husbands or their fathers or their husbands fathers or their sons or their husbands sons and he says وَإِذَا سَأَلْتُمُوهُنَّ مَتَنَ فَصَلُوهُنَّ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَابٍ ذَلِكَ مَظْهَرُ لِقُلُوبِهِنَّ وَقُلُوبِ لِقُلُوبِكُمْ وَقُلُوبِهِنَّ and when you ask them for something ask them ask them from behind the screen that is pure for you for your hearts and their hearts and Allah and Allah the Messenger said وَكَرْنَا فِي بِيُوتِكُمْ وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَا وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَا تَبَرَّجُ الْجَاهِلِيَةِ الْأُولَى and stay in your house and do not display yourself like that of the times of pre-Islamic ignorance the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said إِيَّاكُمْ وَالدُّخُولَ النِّسَاءَ فَقَالَ الرَّجُلُ مِنَ الْأَنْسَارِ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ أَفَرَأَيْتَ الْحَمْوَ Ahamwa kala alhamwa alhamwa almaut. Beware of entering into the company of women. A man from the Ansar said, "O Messenger of Allah, what about the husbands, brothers, and sisters?" Uh, he replied, "The husband, brothers, and uh, uh, the husband, brothers uh, are, are and the relatives uh, are dead." Isaul Salam said, "La yakhluna rajulun bi imratin illa kana bil." Uh, a man is not adorned in the, in the camp of human except that the dad of them is shaitan. Nine, the building of churches are temples and temples in the Muslim lands and spreading great amount of word on them, beautifying them, making them very conspicuous and noticeable, and building them in the largest and best, best, best locations. Ten radio stations set up solely for the purpose of calling to Christianity and communism, spreading their false objectives. They intend to misguide uh, through such false ideas the children of the innocent and naive Muslims who neither understand nor did they receive a sufficient Islamic education. This is the uh, case in particular in Africa, where the Bible is, is, is published and distributed in many hotels. It is they also send missionary and other publications containing a uh, falsehood to many of the Muslim children. These are uh, these are some of the means utilized by the enemies of Islam today from the east and the West in waging war against the Muslims dot in order, in, order, in order to put an end to correct and righteous uh, dot so that they are replaced by false and foreign ideas whether Eastern or Western and oh no read as you can see this means involved tremendous effort enormous amount of money and um, uh, a multitude of soldiers all of this is done in order to take the Muslims away from Islam even if they do not actually uh, do not actually embrace Christianity Judaism or, so, or socialism since their primary goal is in doing 
doing this is to take the Muslims away from Islam so that when this stage is achieved, whatever misguidance follows becomes far easier to implement. However, despite all this, we say that Allah will, will frustrate them in their hopes and will nullify their plans, but only if the Muslims are sincere in their faith, in their fight against them, Allah to their plans and obedient and upright upon their religion, Allah said, وَإِن تَسْبِرُوا تَقُوا إِلَا دُرُكَ إِلَا مُشَاءِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ بِمَا يَعْمَلُنَا مُحِيدٍ But if you remain patient and become pious and obedient to Allah, their plus will not harm you in the least. Indeed, Allah encompasses all that they do. So since they are experiences of corruption, Allah will not give total facilitation to their productions. Rather, Allah the Most High said, وَيَمْكُنُوا وَيَمْكُنُوا اللَّهُ اللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَكْرِينَ They plot on Allah and Allah plans and Allah plans and Allah plans and Allah is the best of the planners. Allah the Most Perfect said, Most Perfect said, إِنَّهُمْ يَكِيدُونَ كَيْدَ وَأَكِيدُ كَيْدَ فَمَا هِلِ الْكَافِرِنَ أَمْ هِلْهُمْ رُوَيْدَ Indeed, they are planning a plan, but I'm planning a plan, but give a respect to the disbelievers. Deal gently with them for a while. In am Allah the Mighty and Majestic said, "Ya yu aladin amanu in tasbiru, ya yu aladin amanu in tansuru Allah yan surukum wa yusabbi taqdamakum." O you who believe, if you help the cause of Allah, He will help you and plant you and plant you and plant you a fit family. Allah the One, free from every imperfection, said, "Wa yansur Allah ma yansuruhu." إن الله حق من عزيز الذين إن مكنا في الأرض أقام مسلا تؤات زكاة وعمر بالمعروف نهى المنكر ولله الله لكم تروم وإن إنديد الله will help those who help his cause those those who help his cause truly Allah is the most powerful most mighty who those who if he give them power and authority in the land establish the salah prayer give the zakah command the good and forbid the evil and with Allah rest the end of the the end of the all affairs and there are many verses regarding this 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 same meaning you know that's without a doubt the matter requires the muslim to have the muslim to have some sense of awareness and contemplation they should there there should be some study about the course of action that should be undertaken and be about the most suitable stance they should take they should be heedful and have some awareness that will make them uh, capable of understanding the schemes of the enemies and have an active pro program for re remain re rendering them futile this shall not be accomplished for them except by adhering to allah adhering to his guidance returning to him repenting to him uh, and seeking he is aid additionally we should be in mind his guidance in everything especially his guidance with regard to the relationship that the believers should have with the believers and he should and we should understand uh, we should understand uh, and we should understand the surah قُلْ يَا يُوَا الْكَافِرُونَ وَسَيْهُ بِلِئُوا وَنْ بِلِئَوَاسْ and also what Allah the most I mentioned in his statement وَلَنْ تَرْدَ أَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَنْ نَسَارَ حَتَّى سَلَمِلَتَهُمْ Never will the Jews and the Christians be pleased with you until you follow their way of life وَلَا يَزَالُونَ وَكَاتُنُكُمْ هَتَّى يَرُدُّوكُ وَنِدِّينُكُمْ نِسَطَوْ and will not stop fighting you until they turn you back from religion if they are able I ask Allah the most high that he grants right guidance to this ummah with regards to their affairs that he grants protection to it from the plots of its enemies and that he grants its firmness and obedience both in his speech and action so that they can be for their might, strength and honor as Allah desires for them indeed he is the one having power over this and may Allah exalt and send his blessings uh, of peace upon our Prophet Muhammad uh, and upon his family, his companions and those who follow, follow them you know